Hello, hello, and welcome to another FX Centrum Daily Market Analysis. Uh, for today, I will go for our cross asset list. I will cover coffee market, uh, WTI, uh, US 100, USD Japanese yen, pound dollar, euro dollar, US 30, gold market, dollar index, and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will do so by using uh, FX Centrum uh, platform. And uh, let's begin with the coffee market. So um, I'm still waiting for the bigger breakout of this trading range and market is uh, getting closer to the support level, which is uh, set at 182, 181 mark. This is also lower Bollinger Band. We can see here in stochastic oscillator that we have that the slow line it is, uh, just started to slope to the downside and the fast line is already sloping to the downside. So we we can see potential downside break and in that case uh, there will be a chance for a further drop towards 175.80 for example or even 165.50 um, we can also see that market had rejection of the middle bollinger band around 187 yesterday so we have some sign of weakness and we're getting um, closer to the, our support level so pay attention for potential breakdown on this uh, on this market now on wti um we had a bad upside breakout so this um, idea that uh, I, I basically posted like a two weeks ago is progressing very well and um, our first upside objective was around 83 um, 60 mark and uh, yesterday's um, high was around uh, 82 98 so you can see also that we had another close above the upper Bollinger Band the slow line just started to slow to the upside and the fast line is already sloping the upside now let's take a look at the four hour time frame the clear volatility is increasing after the period of contraction in this area here we had increase um, uh, of, of the volatility and uh, seems like there is a potential for high prices and uh, hourly looks like a normal and basically a natural pullback after the initial uh, imbalance to the upside so there will be a chance for a retest of the high around 82.96 and potentially for our daily first daily objective uh, around uh, 83.90 mark or 84 mark after that then the upside objective will be around 85.80 and we'll say the final one based on the previous price section around 89.70 mark so strong relative strength on the WTI and the crude oil relative to other markets I think crude oil is pretty much uh, having relative strength relative strength leader now us 100 so what we had here is attempt from the buyers to do anything um, something more to the upside but there was just rejection of the middle bollinger band which is basically set at uh, 18,050 mark there was a close in the middle uh, which is a sign of the weakness yesterday just around that middle bollinger band volatility is still uh, contract contracting and basically we have a side base bulger in the daily time frame but you can see here the slow line is clearly sloping to the downside on the stochastic the fast line had that correction yesterday so from my perspective the downside break of 17,737 uh, can lead the uh, uh, us uh, 100 uh, downside uh, towards a lower reference point so again in case of this downside breakout of our lower Bollinger Band, this uh, key support cluster, there'll be a chance for test of 17,340, uh, 17,170, or if there will be a bigger drop, like say short term, mid term, then 16,240 can play. Now, USD Japanese yen, this is something that I alerted yesterday and that poten potential for the rally towards 150, 60 mark, and it's basically what is happening today. So let's just um, recap of what we covered yesterday. Um, we identified basically that, that there was a strong bullish divergence um, after this downside moment, the initial downside break on a daily time frame. Um, I, I noticed, I noticed here that there was a strong bullish divergence. So market uh, uh, market was making uh, lower lows, and stochastic is and slow and fast line were making higher higher lows. And that was a strong sign and after this initial break i will just mark here uh, so it's this initial break 
around, uh, I'll say around 147.20 mark or so, there was a potential for the rally to continue. And then we just had more and more signs of the strength. Uh, market just revisited lower Bollinger Bands on hourly, and there was a rejection, and we were building higher lows. And then we had another confirmation with another breakout of this 148 mark. And you can see where we are at right now, around 150.31. And uh, of course, this was a bigger imbalance. Volatility is increasing, uh, and daily time frame looks like uh, that we looks like a very big imbalance. And you see the slow line just started to slope to the upside. Fast line is already sloping to the upside, and we had a fresh bull cross a couple of days ago. And this is something that I mentioned as well. So the next upside objective, I will say, of course, 150.89. Uh, so there is a still like a 50 to plus pips potential, and then there is an upper Bollinger band uh here and the swing high at this point at the 151.74 so pay attention to that i don't see any sign of weakness of course this is now extended intraday but with some natural pullbacks and so on the hourly or 30 minute time frame there will be a chance for upside continuation and uh, potential for the, um, those daily upside reference points uh that we reached so um Pound dollar is breaking to the downside from this middle Bollinger Band. And this is something that um, I alerted yesterday in potential for, because we didn't have any significant reaction of this middle Bollinger Band, just a very narrow consolidation. And here we have a downside break. So downside objective, uh, short term, uh, based on this daily time frame, is a lower Bollinger Band at 1.2, uh, 600 mark. And then we have 1.2612 mark. You can also also see the slow and fast line and stochastic are sloping to the downside and uh, this is just another sign of the short-term downside environment so potential for the downside on the pound dollar is likely to happen so euro dollar uh, same thing uh, you can see it let's go to the daily time frame middle bollinger band just a consolidation around so slow line and fast line are sloping to the downside and uh, the downside objective is set around 1.0798 with a lower bollinger band uh, so far at this point around 1.0777 let's take a look at the four hour time frame you can see the slow line in the middle bollinger band sloping to the downside we had a natural uh, correction more like an abc form and the downside continuation that is happening now with no significant uh, divergence or any sign of strength so special for the downside continuation on euro dollar yes 30 we have a clear consolidation around middle bollinger band around 38,000. Um, i will say 890. Um, yesterday's close was pretty weak in the middle of the previous day range but we had an inside day so i will say in case of the downside break of uh, 38,473. There will be a chance for a further drop towards 38,040 in case of some bigger drop um, than 37,200 mark can be in play. The consolidation with resistance on the upper Bollinger Band is set at 39,173 and swing high. Uh, this point is set around 39,270 mark. And we have a gold market. So still the gold market, we, we didn't test actually middle Bollinger Band. Now middle Bollinger Band is at 21.24, a previous swing high area around 2092 mark. But you can see the fast and slow line is sloping to the downside and we don't have any upside continuation. So let's take a look at the four hour time frame. Uh, we had initial break of the lower Bollinger Band, a natural pullback. And seems like market wants to recontinue, or basically continue to the downside at this point. Uh, let's take a look at the hourly time frame. So we had this down break. Uh, this was our trading idea from uh, last week and it's still progressing relatively well. So we had some down closing here and then market reacted uh, all the way up to the upper ball in Japan. And now we kind of have another attempt for a down break uh, on on the intro on the hourly time frame so i will see if we can break the 2153 intraday and hold below there is a chance intraday for the retest at least for the 2145 to be in the play and then then this daily to get closer to the middle ball in japan so that's uh, so far my view on the call 
now dollar index um, take a look at this so slow line just started to build and um, slope upwards we had just a simple consolidation around this middle bollinger band so and we have a imbalance to the upside so potential for uh, 104 13 to be on the test or 104 37 which is the upper ball in japan on the daily time frame take a look at the four hour we have um don't have any contractions so far volatility is increasing and uh, you can see here after this con consolidation we had an upside break and a very natural pullback consolidation and break um, and continuational move so potential for the further rally on dollar index so and the last one is bitcoin versus us dollar i alerted about this potential for the downside move look at this perfect bear flag on a four hour time frame so this is the four hour time frame as you can see here there was a perfect bear flag around uh, 68,750, and we had another downside move and now another downside swing so let's take a look at the daily time frame we can see market had just some consolidation around middle Bollinger Band, but now we have a down break. And the lower Bollinger Band is set here at uh, 59,976. Uh, slow line, uh, we can see here, we just started to slope to the downside from a very overbought area, and the fast line went all the way below 60 mark. So we, we can have a potential retest of pin bar low and lower Bollinger Band, like some short term downside objectives um the perfect bear flag on a four hour something similar we had uh, just um, a few days ago here after this down break and first rally so we can see lower highs and lower lows are building here so short term trend is changing to the downside and uh, potential for the further downside move play on us dollar so that will be all for this um fx centrum daily market analysis if you uh, didn't visit our website so and uh, go on fxcentrum.com you can basically um check our website we have um fxc tv um educational uh, part uh, technical analysis every day on different markets uh, liquid markets trading ideas at least once per week different tutorials um check our promotions 100 percent deposit bonus and um open account a real account a demo account just a few clicks and um, explore more so visit our website and um, stay tuned for more videos and updates uh, you can also subscribe on our youtube channel and social media so um yeah uh, that will be everything for this um, update um, have a good trading day and speak to you soon